The motives behind Donald Trump's would-be assassin have been particularly elusive to pin down, but investigators have discovered a connection between his family and the Trump campaign. Why did 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks try to kill Donald Trump? That's the question no one seems able to answer yet. The shooter was killed by a sniper on July 13, 2024, after he launched his attack on a Trump campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. People who knew Crooks in his hometown of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, called him nice, quiet, intelligent but a little weird, and a loner. He was said to have scored well on tests and had a passion for history. Crooks was reportedly bullied in school and sometimes wore hunting gear to class. He was just bullied, like he was bullied so much. The young man and his family apparently had a long-standing interest in guns and shooting. He reportedly tried out for his school's junior varsity rifle team, but didn't make the cut due to a lack of skill. According to the UK's Channel 4 News, Crooks' family was flagged by Trump's campaign as being potential supporters who would be responsive to pro-gun rights messages. Crooks and his family represented a strange demographic intersection. Crooks himself read registered to vote as a Republican. His father, Matthew Bryan Crooks, is a registered libertarian. His mother, Mary Elizabeth Crooks, is registered as a Democrat. They're both licensed social workers, residents of the family's hometown, Bethel Park, a suburb just south of Pittsburgh, seem shocked about what happened. You want to be put on the map but you want to be put on for good things, for heroes. Allegheny County Councilman Dan Grisbeck said specifically of the crooks. I got the perception they were just nice people. A neighbor told the New York Post the family's lawn was also replete at times with signs in support of Trump. Channel 4 notes that the Trump campaign's flagging of the family's potential support dates back to Trump's first run for the presidency in 2016. The campaign team number crunched to figure out who among Pennsylvania's population would be susceptible to pro-gun messaging. Crooks' father Matthew ranked within the top 20 out of 19,000 people in Bethel Park. A report indicated that Matthew not only likely owned a gun, but was a hunter as well. That report indicated that his wife Mary was also likely a gun owner. This was also around the time that the family displayed MAGA signs on their lawn. According to the New York Post, it was indeed Thomas Crooks' father Matthew who owned the AR-style rifle his son used to shoot at the former president. Thomas bought the ammunition he used from the local Allegheny Arms and Gun Works just before making his assassination attempt. It's unclear when Matthew Crooks bought the rifle, but a source told the Washington Post that he purchased it as far back as 11 years ago. When asked if he sold the gun to Matthew, Bruce Piendel, owner of Allegheny Arms and Gun Works, told the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, that's between me and God. Piendel also told the outlet that the area around Bethel Park had numerous gun clubs and a rich tradition of hunting and fishing and outdoor stuff. It's not clear if everyone in the Crooks family supported Trump or if they stopped supporting his efforts at some point. Neighbor Kelly Little did tell WPXI of the family's yard. There hasn't been um, for the last few months, but there absolutely was um, mega supporting things for a while. Thomas Crooks was sniped within 26 seconds of taking his first shot on July 13th. That's something that the family's 2016 Trump campaign profile could have never predicted.